Today we're talking about that time back in 2016 when I was on a super boat, crazy fast boat with Sanchai and a bunch of other Muay Thai fighters. This is a story that I don't think I've told too many people on here. And while it's not as good as the story about the guy from China who they tried to pass off as Gabriel Varga, a Chinese athlete, they dyed his hair. This is still pretty fun and it's got some good little things in it that's just gonna help you in upcoming fights. Things I didn't think about or know about. So first of all, back in 2016, I went to China and fought for this belt. Funny thing about it was I was the headline fight, but on the card was Sanchai, Lurdzilla, and a whole bunch of other very high level TIE fighters. I actually felt a little bit, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> A little embarrassed that they put me as the main event when Sanchai was on the card. I'm kind of like, why? Why is that happening? Like we got this Muay Thai guy who's potentially the GOAT and he should probably be the main event. But they ended up deciding to put me as the main event and I went there, I fought, I won, did a great job. Um, and one of the funny parts about this card was all the lead up to the fight. The fight went great. I liked Hero Legends, but leading up to it, they had us do all this ridiculous stuff. Now, what's a normal thing to do pre-fight? Maybe you put some pads on, you do a little bit of work, they do an interview with you. That's kind of it, but not with these guys. They went above and beyond. So what happened first? They took us out to this beach and they had us all on ATVs going up and down the beach, driving around. I don't know why they wanted to get footage of us. Keep in mind, this was all right after the weigh-ins and that is lesson number one. When you go to weigh-ins, bring extra food with you. I only brought like a granola bar and a little drink and then I figured, oh, we'll go get food. Didn't happen. We ended up going doing this big excursion uh, on the beach with these ATVs, getting all this crazy footage of us all sort of lying around on the beach, chilling together. And the whole time I'm like, man, I just made weight. I'm so hungry. So always pack extra food when you go to your weigh-ins. Don't assume that you're gonna be able to get home or get to the restaurant promptly. After this, after being at this crazy event where we were all on ATVs, then they tell us we're gonna head over to the marina. At the marina, they had all these millionaires who had their crazy big boats and we start just walking around going, whoa, these are so cool. And then they get us on this little boat. I was in the same corner as Sancha. I believe in that one. I might've been blue corner. Maybe I was red, but whatever. I was in the same corner as him. So everybody in my corner got on the boat at one time. All the other guys got on a different boat. We raced around. They had us all filming stuff of us sitting there. You can see from the picture, I was actually in my walkout attire, like actually in my fight attire. It made zero sense to me, but looking back, was very funny because I'm just going, why would we waste our time with that? And it was not even really highlighted in the actual pre-fight stuff. When you actually watch on TV, it was just more of these silly photos, which I ended up taking actually, or my brother took of me because we were just looking at each other, rolling our eyes. And this went on for two or three hours. And I have been at other events where you go for a moment. They're like, oh, we're gonna go do a practice walkout. We're just gonna walk out the same way that you will tomorrow night when you fight. And it ends up taking hours and hours, like literally three, four hours of practicing this thing. And you're going, guys, we just made weight or we're making weight tomorrow. We're tired, we're hungry, we're nervous. Just let us go back and relax. And this happens and you need to be prepared for it. So the first time it does happen, you don't get super frustrated. First time it happened to me, I was so upset. But anyway, sharing this card with Sanchai was pretty awesome. I think it was my first time ever meeting him. And while well, back then he didn't speak a lot of English, he was very nice. Lordzilla was on that card as well. And I had already faced Lordzilla in K1. We'd already fought and he was so polite, came up to me, shook my hand, said I was just such a good fighter. And they're just all amazing people, it seems. From the brief interactions I've had with them, very polite, very, very skilled, and they don't have a big ego, which I think is amazing. So that's my story for today, guys. Let's call it there.